welcome, welcome to another Lick of the Day. I'm Brett Papa, and today is all about major pentatonic soloing, and of course, we're throwing in those chord tones, because that is the secret to melody. Down below, there is a video that is not on YouTube, all about soloing and major pentatonic, so check that out as well if you need to brush up and understand how to use major pentatonic when you're playing, when it counts over a song. So check that out. All right, let's get into the video. So check this out. Pretend we're doing, you know, our chord progression like C. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna use the C major pentatonic scale. We're gonna use an arpeggio, and we are also gonna use the C major scale. But I don't like to get in the habit of thinking in modes, and that's just a personal preference. I like thinking about chords, right? playing the pentatonic scale with chords. That's how I teach all my courses, all that kind of stuff. So I like to kind of think of it that way, and that's just my own personal thing. If you like to think about it in modes and all that stuff, then you know, you'll know you notice what I'm doing. Okay, so C major pentatonic. Red's also the A minor scale, A minor pentatonic, same exact shapes, but you play them different, right? So C major. So. The reason over a C chord, I would play this specific lick is because if you think about the notes we're hitting, I bend this note up right here, G7, and it is bent up to this ninth fret G. Now why that note is important is because it's part of a C chord that's right here, okay? And that's the third, that's the, the note that makes the chord major, right? If it were to be here, it'd be a minor chord, right? So, minor, major. So I'm bending into that note. I'm also hitting that note again when I hit the fifth fret B, and then when I come to this note, I'm hitting the fifth of that C chord, right? So we have the third, the fifth, and the root. So, right, and then I come down to the root again. So I've got, every note of a C chord, okay? Now, from there, right, I'm just kind of reiterating that chord. I got my F chord coming up. So that's when I go for this arpeggio. Right, F note. So over this F chord, right? Right, the, there's a F, a version of an F chord that looks like this. Right, from the cage system. I mean, it's just an F chord, right? But if you know the cage system, you'll recognize the shape, right? So, that covers my F chord. Right, and then when I come to the G, if I look at this G right here in particular, I'm coming down, the third, and then root. Right, so C chord. C. And this is all just back to pentatonic, right? I'm just going up. You know, you can think of it as an arpeggio. Like That would sound more like an arpeggio, but I'm, I'm simply playing the notes of the chord, right? So, right, we started with the root, fifth, right, so we got... But you're hitting, the, you're starting with the root, fifth, going back to the root, okay? So. And then I'm sliding up to position two of the major pentatonic, C major pentatonic. But position two has that C chord right in it, right? So. If you mess around in that spot, it's gonna sound great because you're hitting the notes of the chord. And then you can come right back down to position one, where you're starting to hit the back side of the C chord, right? Now. 
So start thinking about chords, right? I used modes, I used arpeggios, I could get fancy and, you know, go down that route. And that has its purpose. If you want to know music inside and out, totally do the theory bit. But as a starting point, right, maybe you're a beginner or an intermediate guitar player just looking to understand why some notes sound cool, always go back, for sure learn the pentatonic scale, major and minor, they're the exact same shapes, you just need to know how to use them and where, what note to start from, right? But learn how to see the chords inside of those. So if I'm in, you know, this C, I know I have that position one. Right there, and I'm aiming for these notes, right? Because that's part of my C chord. When I bend up, I can bend into this C chord, right? As I get to the higher part of this scale, I got a note right there, right here, right? Got my fifth and my third. So you got roots, third, fifth, and then also here, right? Another root. So these are all notes over that C chord. That's going to sound killer over that chord because you're hitting every note in the chord. When the F came up, you know, I'm going to that F note. When the G comes up, right? I'm hitting two of the notes of that chord. Slide into the G up here, right? And do that kind of lick too. And then get back into C. Right? And so you can use the notes any way that you want to use them in the pentatonic scale. You can just fumble around the scale too, or you can learn where those chords are and hit the right notes for sure and then mix up the scale or whatever you want to do around them. You can put chromatic licks in there. All that kind of stuff, but you're hitting those chord tones so the ear has something to grab onto, and it becomes a musical phrase at that point, rather than just trying to kind of find your way. You know where you're going, and you're like, ah, oh, check this out, I'm gonna, just cause I can, and I've already hit home bass to the ear, I'm going to bend the ear a little bit with this outside note, but I'm going to come right back at the right time and hit one of those important chord tones and sound like you know what you're doing. Because melody is the key. That's what we all like. That's what got us playing guitar is we heard a great song. <laughs> Number one, great song. And there happened to be maybe a great guitar player that was melodic and did a great lead that fit the song and that's what we're all about here on this channel is learning how to play melodically for the song you guys are amazing check out brettpapa.com actually over there i teach all of this stuff in my courses so if you want to get better at that definitely check that out you can subscribe share the videos if you thought the video was great pass it on share it to all your friends and over here i'll put some other videos to check out thank you so much for your continued support we'll catch you next time